I've been a cancer researcher for roughly about 19 years now, and it's evolved to the point where we're finally allowing your body to heal itself. In that cancer can be really smart, it invades your immune system, but now we've figured out a way to tap into your immune system such that your body is smarter than the cancer. Back when I was in school, which is, you know, a very long time ago, it was these teachers that really inspired me and made me really curious about wanting to learn more. They made me crave an understanding of what's happening around me. When my father was diagnosed with gastric cancer and when my mother was diagnosed with lung cancer, I think that's when it really brought it home to me that science is real and I need to do something about it. In the last 20 years, I've seen lots of dynamic movements in the biotech and pharmaceutical world, and also in the academic setting as well. Science is really about evolving, learning from the past, moving forward, and you need to adapt that for yourself. That flexibility will keep you very current. I've hired probably about 200 people in my lifetime, and so I'm always looking at technical skills, but what I find is that if you have the aptitude, technical skills can be taught. It's the attitude. I value teamwork, I value collaboration because collaboration makes you a better leader. That willingness to work with others, that wanting feedback, having the flexibility to look at it from a different point of view, those things are really hard to build. You know, when I think about the first scientists who decided to look at the microscope, I think it must have taken a spark of genius to think there's something beyond our eyesight. And I think that's what a scientific approach is. It's that spark of curiosity to look beyond what you already know and try to define it and set a standard for the next person. If I had one wish for the youth of the world, go beyond the me culture. Don't just think about yourself. Think about what you can add to your environment your work, your social being, what you can add to your community. Be kind to yourself, but be kind to others.